Hey, so welcome back, and this is another daily code problem. So today it's called top k frequent elements, and it's a medium level heat problem. And so essentially you're just given an array here along with an integer value k, and all that you want to do is return an array of size k. So you only want to return a, as many as like k different items. And these items, or these numbers here, are going to be found in this array and the ones that we want to return are the ones that have the most like number of occurrences or the no most number of instances, like the ones that occur the most. So I think, you know, the title itself, top K frequent elements is just a, a great description of the problem. So because in this one, and I'll just get a, like a whiteboard here, one appears, oh, this has been lagging lately. Um, one appears three times, two appears twice here, and then three here appears just once. Uh, we want to select whichever two appear the most. And well, that is one and two because three is bigger than two and well, two is bigger than one. So we return one and two. Okay, and well, for this one, we only have to return one element and there's only one element in here. So we just return that number one. Okay, so to implement this, we're gonna use a hash map uh, just like I kind of showed you there. In Python, there's a, a neat one to quickly find out what's the number of occurrences of something in like a O of n time, and that's using the uh, counter library. So it's from the, or not the counter library, but it's in uh, the collections library called counter. And you can just pass in your array here, and it's just gonna quickly spit out a hash map of the number of occurrences. So here in this case, it shows you that mapping that I just made. So one has three, two has two, and three has one occurrence. And so with this, we can then say, okay, why don't we put this in a heap? And the reason why you want this in a heap is whenever you're dealing with like top K or like, um, like minimum K, like you're either gonna be dealing with max heap or min heap. And that's because you can maintain a sorted order um, while pushing and popping from the stack and just uh, log in. Um, but in order to heapify an array, it takes n log in time, so that's gonna be the, uh, the uh, time constraint here. So it's the bottleneck of this algorithm. So we're gonna create this heap, and to do this, we're going to create an array of tuples, and we're gonna put the value um, or the number of occurrences, so the frequency as the key and then the value is going to be uh, the actual number itself. And so currently you might've saw that when we printed out this counter, it's kind of the opposite of this. We have number pointed to frequency, so we wanna invert this. And that's so that when we're pushing to our heap, we want the, uh, the min heap to be sorted according to their frequency, not their number. Because if we just heapified this uh, hash map here, you're going to be sorting it in order of their keys, but we want to sort it in order of their frequencies. So to kind of invert that, uh, we just need to create a new array and we're going to grab the key and the value, key value um, in the uh, counter hash map, just by grabbing the items. And then we just say, okay, let's invert that. So it's value then key here instead. Great. So now if we print out this new heap, it's going to be an array of basically, they're now inverted, right? So three to one rather than one to three and so forth. And so now when we heapify this uh, using heapq.heapify, we just pass in this heap. And so now if we print it, We've now sorted them. It, it, it pops out the same because this is already in sort order, but now we've actually sorted this array as a min heap because we want a min heap rather than max heap because we want to pop the minimum frequencies, not be popping off the maximum frequencies. So let's go ahead and do this. So we just iterate and this kind of templated code for dealing with uh, min heaps and max heaps. We just say while the length of our heap is greater than the size that we want, we want to pop off from our heap so we just use heap pop and we pop from our heap. And then after this, we just return our heap. But this is gonna be wrong here. And the reason for that is if you look at the output for the problem, 
we want to just return the keys of these item numbers, not their actual frequencies. So we're going to have to do a similar thing here where we're just going to iterate for every key and their corresponding value in, or wait, let's see here. Yeah, for every key and value in our heap, let's just return the value since that's actually the number. So maybe a better description is this is the frequency and this is the number and we just want the number here. Let's just verify it works. Looks good. Let's try submitting it. And success. So for a time and space complexity, well, this is going to run in uh, n log n uh, time complexity, and that's because, well, the uh, bottleneck here is the heapify. So for every single value, we're going to want to sort it um, in this heap. And to do that with each number, you're going to do in log n time. So n times log n is the time complexity. Uh, so this is time. And then for space, we're dealing with O of n space. And that's because, well, we're just using uh, like one extra data structure here. We're doing it multiple times, but it's just kind of like three of n, I guess. We're using multiple temporary spaces, but they're all of size of O of n. Um, and so that's the time complexity. But yeah, I hope this helped and good luck with the rest of your algorithms. Thanks for watching.